Female. Female. <laughs> All right. Here we have uh, two green tree boas. Beautiful, beautiful creatures. I uh, just seen some more people end up with bite marks in these guys, so I've always been kind of leery. I've watched Dad jerk twice during our exam. <laughs> He's a little afraid, too. He should be. Anyway. Because they hurt. They've got some big teeth in these guys. Definitely something to be uh, to take seriously. So there's a female. Obviously, it's the prettier of the two. And there's our male. He's getting ready to shed. Our male has trichomonas. He also has uh, enteric vibriosis. He's got stomatitis. We just lost one of his teeth during the exam. And it's on a slide in the back, and everyone is having a blast looking at it. Anyway, uh, these guys will be treated with some panicure, uh, some dewormer. It turns out that uh, I guess one of the previous ones that actually had some sub Q strongel type parasites, which uh, is not common in these guys, but it's definitely been documented on several several times. Oh, and look, you look like a bird. I'm going to sneak up on you. <laughs> anyway, we're going to start these guys with some treatment with some Panicure. Going to get some Betrol water to send them home with. And we'll recheck these guys in about two weeks. Okay? Okay. All right, and we'll check their stools in. In the meantime, over now. There it is, Trichomonas. Oh, Are you doing snakes? Yeah. Should we trick a motor one more time? Where are you at? I know you're in there. Well, anyway, while we're waiting for some more trichomonas, the little things you see moving in the background are Vibrio. Those are highly motile, usually gram-negative bacteria, and they can cause a lot of serious problems in a reptile, or a bird, or a mammal, or whatever else. Oh, there's a trick. There's a trick. Right. Well, we'll follow him. There he is. How cool.